main basis behind what I'm doing is um, to display craftsmanship, so have everything handmade in Britain, and to uh, tell the story of the people who do it. The, the methods you sort of you you see the the sort of longevity of it in the garments, the existing ones. Like if you look at a garment that's like a hundred years old, you're like, okay, how did you stand the test of time? Like what fabrics are you using? How is this sewn together? So I went off researching and I found this guy. He actually works in steel. Having that collaboration between us and him showing me things and how to construct it and then me kind of showing him, you know, how to make it a wearable form is just amazing. Like the balance is just perfect. I didn't want to take fabrics and use them all that were in their natural state. I wanted to experiment and I experimented a lot with bonding. So all my massive curved skirts that I've got, that's pleather for the weight and then nylon for the shine and the touch. Fashion it seems like it's just a bit of cloth but the pattern based stuff is kind of like a lot of maths comes into it and like 3D. So you're what I'm usually doing is taking something that's like flat and 2D and then creating like a 3D structure out of it. It's a brilliant way of kind of displaying the craftsmanship that is out there, uh, of what people can do and what people can still do. I mean, it could take days and days, and that kind of patience just sitting there to make something so small and yet, uh, well, in some cases, so beautiful. 